and I'm a sophomore at Alcorn High. When I was young, not yet aware of my age, beyond the fingers on my hands, they asked me, what was the purpose of my actions, for my childish choices, for the tears of injustice swelling up in eyes and touched by the years, when I turned 13, not yet aware of the developing earthquake, ready to trigger tsunami inside my own crystal palace, they asked me, what was the purpose of my anxiety for the progression, regression, into a stuttering mess my words had morphed into, not able to crawl out of the quicksand my own doing? And now they've asked me, told me to ask myself, what is the purpose of this poem? Why should people listen to my words? Why should they care about my fleeting thoughts? And the answer to all those is I don't know. I don't know the reasoning of my twisting, spiraling thoughts, constantly barraging against the barrier of my mind and tongue, cracking but never able to break through. I can possibly tell you I must listen to my never-lasting words, ephemeral, forgotten in a week's time in the forever loop of equations, vocabulary, dates and, vo dates and concepts, and I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry because I don't want a reason. As my fingers hesitate at every touch of the keyboard, as I bite my tongue numb, scouring through my disjointed, disconnected ideas for a motive, a defining cause that doesn't exist, because once upon a time, writing was my escape. As cliche as it is. Forming loose coalitions of letters into words, phrases, meaning, into worlds that reality can't touch. Writing isn't merely a goal to reach or a grade to be obtained, but freedom. The freedom to simply feel, from my clenching hands, nails drawing rivulets of red to my tongue, something being so large, unable to twist and bend the way I wanted to. The freedom to feel, when I can barely understand my own thoughts, incomprehensible and yet constricting, entangling me in the webs that are so familiar, and yet every day I struggle to cut through, while well, I'm all losing all sense in a sensical world where everything has to have a purpose and I don't know why. Why there must be a driving force behind every syllable and every rhyme? Why can't I just feel my life stories, creating the waves of emotions pouring out as they drown in the suffocating air till no more blood is drawn from the ever-growing black and white lines until the breaths, the words fade? When I was 13, inside the not-quite-yet-shattered Crystal Palace, I had no reason for the stutters that my speech had transformed into and the lyrics that my words had become. When I was young, not concerned with the numbers above my amount of stuffed animals, I had no reason for the reckless and for the brave, beyond the twirling of the monarch butterflies. Beautiful, for they had no reason but life. <laughs>